What's up, douches? All that bullshit. This is my Style Sense white t-shirt. Not my undershirt. I actually have a white t-shirt. Style Sense AI is going to be like Marvin from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's going to be a depressed fashion robot that no matter what you ask it to recommend, will only recommend the same outfit. I might adjust it if I ever get around to actually making it a thingy for other people to use. I might adjust it so that way it will give you whatever outfit recommendation you like it to give it to you. But before and after, it's always going to recommend the white t-shirt with cargo pants and PF flyers. And it'll be like, oh, well, you have to go to a black tie event. Have you ever considered... Where for a black tie event, you would want to wear a black tie tuxedo. Have you considered wearing a white t-shirt, cargo pants, and PF flyers? Because the world needs more Douglas Adams. Anyways. Call me crazy. I vote on election day, so I'll vote in a few days. I'm glad everyone's starting to get Democrat or, you know, hyped up for our republic again, because we're not a democracy. We're a re constitutional republic. But I just don't want to deal with grifters. Like, that rule I was saying about ha at least have the girls be the grifters, because you kind of expect that from them, because what else are they going to do, right? They're not going to, like, dig a ditch or shit like that. But, I don't know. I did just do a little bit of a tweet storm about how, as technology improves, <clears throat> the internet's going to get... Right now, like, 10 years ago... Only a few people could go and live stream. You had to donate and subscribe so they can keep on doing it. And they were staging everything. Like, when I went to Seaville to stop the fights, I wasn't I wasn't in on the staging. Which is why they're so upset I knew where to be at the right times. How did I know that? I had a net hunter, a Wi-Fi pineapple, and enough numbers beforehand to know wh wh where to sniff. We'll call it that. If you want to find the NBC Fox News footage of the Seville shit, you will see a line crazy left wing crazies, crazy white, ah, crazy right, r white, right wing crazies and all of these people were not from Seville the left wing crazies were shipped in from like New Jersey and shit like that and the right right wing racist crazies were shipped in from like Alabama and shit like that and I'm not saying everyone from Alabama or New Jersey is crazy I was saying they were taking people from at least a few states over and bringing them to Virginia to foment the dissent okay uh, then they had like the timing was going to be perfect if I hadn't been there to stop it they were going to have a massive fight breakout on live TV <gasps> and they were going to call that race riots and all that bullshit even though everyone fighting was white all right as a matter of fact there was there was there was more black people uh with the white racists than there were with the crazy antifas so however you want to do that, I don't, I'm not getting into it. All right. Anyways. Then because they're all pussies and if anything that doesn't go according to the script, they flip out all the people that were getting ready to fight 
I run up with my shield, and they all just back down because it wasn't in the script. If they were to actually charge, I could have stopped two, maybe three of them, but all of them I wouldn't have been able to stop. They're just that much of a pussy. They're such pussies that they were like, this isn't in the script. I'm on probation back in New Jersey for selling crack. What do I do? I don't actually want to get in trouble. I, if you told me I was going to come here and get $200 and all I have to do is intimidate everyone. That's why they get mad at me. That's why they're mad they can't control me. Not like, oh, I say they can't control me, and then behind the scenes they cut me a check. No, they literally can't control me. You just saw me not work for six months and live on my savings because they can't control me. That's probably Horfany bothering me. Anyways, that's another thing. Horfany is annoying. Her stupid bots are posting pictures of her from Halloween 21. You know what she was doing in Halloween of 2021? She was matching with me nonstop on Tinder, making dates with me, and then canceling them because she was actually in Korea, not in Manassas. What a stupid smut actress. This is all stupid. This is all stupid. No. When the internet... Because they can't control it, look, the internet slightly controlled and like girls generation went from being like the biggest act ever to those stupid whores over there who can't get a job, right? Um, yeah, but no, like all the, but these like, these like posers who go to these events, like what the fuck is Gavin McGinnis from Canada? Okay. He lives in New York. What the fuck is Gavin McGinnis from Canada living in New York, shoving dildos up his ass for the proud boys? What's he doing in Seville in 2017, August of 2017? Why is Faith Goldie in Seville of 2017? How come Faith Goldie and these, uh, Infowars dude, the only one who I think is cute is Millie Weaver, but she's, you know, got a kid and all that bullshit. But even she basically admitted she's just doing it for money, right? Sure, freedom also, but pay me. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it, right? Oh, I'm going independent. Pay me, right? It's, it's a job to them. They may also be be pro America, but it's a job to them, which means that it's not their it's not their opinion. It's whoever's paying their bills' opinion. It's not you. You think they're living on your donations? No, they're using their donations to supplement their their sellout money they get. It's all staged. Shut up, shut up, Horfany. Go make some smut. Anyways. <clears throat> Bro, like, they're anti the internet because... Okay, 10 years ago, you had to, like, sell out to some foreign company, and then they would give you the, the cameras and shit, and then they would give you the script, and you would go to the places, and you would wait, and they would set up the smoke bombs and all that bullshit. Go away, Horfany. And then, um, okay, so then a few years after that, I was, I, I, I got hit to that jive on my own. I learned Wi-Fi hacking, you know, I took some courses, taught myself, got a Wi-Fi pineapple from, from, what was it, like, hacker, what was that one, the thingy that used to be in California, and then they moved to Texas because California sucks balls because it's a fucking deep state stronghold. Hack 5, I got a Hack 5 Wi-Fi pineapple. Um, I had been playing around with installing NetHunter on various devices for like a year at that point in time. Stupid ethos. Literally, one of the stupid ethos made like a... She like started putting boxing gloves on for her fucking thingies, and I was like, this bitch is totally into me. This is going to be easy as fuck. Hey, give me some information. You're, play, you're staging a civil war in my country. In my country, in my backyard, your handlers told you to try to recruit me for your shitty civil war. You're retarded. I'm going to stop it, and I'm going to keep on sniffing these packets and see where it goes to. And that led to the Tates, and that led to all the other... I don't want to get... I've been into it. I've, I've gone over it before. I don't want to... I don't want to... <coughs> That's why they want to control the internet and keep you stupid. Because before, you needed to have a company and a sellout to be at the right place at the right time. And then a few years after that, if you had the right hacking know-how, you could do it. Now, anyone can just do it. Starlink and all that bullshit, everywhere you go, you can be streaming. So if everyone at a rally is streaming, and one person is trying to set up smoke bombs and, 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 and foment dissent, everyone's going to catch it. 
that's why they hate the internet. The internet was supposed to be for them to control you. Instead, it's for you to call out their bullshit. That's why they hate it. That's why they murdered Dan Wallace. They murdered Dan Wallace because he said, no, I don't want to be controlled. They said, fuck, we didn't account for that. If they just don't take our bribes, then we have to kill them. Otherwise, we can't do our bullshit. So I don't want to hang out with any of them. I, at all. No, I don't want to hang out with murderers at your murderer party. Why? Are you going to kill me for my YouTube channel? I have more subscribers than, than that douchebag ever got. The The current owner of We Are Change has gotten zero subscribers on their own. Those are all Dan subscribers. I have more subscribers than him. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. I'll make more videos later. Peace out.